Hi and welcome to Excel VBA data entry form of a login system. Let me show you guys how this works. Now let's come in here and we click on this. Yes, we can exit if we want. Supposing we decide to log in and enter an invalid login details. There we go. We have first attempt. Try that again. Second attempt. Invalid login attempt is two. You only have three attempts. The system will log you off. Now, supposing we run it again, and in here we enter some rubbish in there, clear that out. Now, let's enter the correct login details. And here is what we get straight onto our excel data entry form this data entry is officially on youtube and you guys can always view that i will also enter the url for this particular excel data entry form so what i'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into excel development environment and we put one of these together one of the login system together so let's do that now guys and welcome back to excel now what i'm going to do is to click on make sure the developer tab is enabled and now click on visual basic but if you don't have your developer tab there all you need to do is to go straight into the file here just click on the file okay click on options right there now select customize ribbon and the customize ribbon brings you here so all the next thing is make sure the developer tab is checked once that is checked click on ok that is it right there if you have your system like this all you then need to do is to select on developer select visual basic and right there once you are in the form layer development environment all you then need to do is to go to insert select user form and right there our form is ready just click on the form that's the form right there that is form one I'm going to add another one click on form user form again we have form 2 but we intend to use form 1 for our login details now let's set the dimension of both forms so right here where we have up come straight to the property where we have height I'm going to enter 800 in there and where we have the width here let's move that up so that you guys can see it we have the width somewhere here okay I'm going to enter 1000 and 24 there and the same thing will be repeated for user form 2 the height will be 800 there and the width will be 1000 and 24 okay now let's do one thing before we proceed let's change the color so i'm going to go to the palette and let's select this very color for the background so I'm copy that and i'll paste that for form one inside form one highlight paste the color the same color now select the tools the toolbox right there and the next thing is you see the Frame. drag the frame across right let's copy that frame or before then get rid of the caption of the frame and change the color of this very frame let's change the back color of that very frame before any other improvement is made so I'm gonna click on I'm gonna click on that back that's for the border we need that for the background the background right there there we go. So click and drag, copy it across. There. The next thing I want to do is, and I want to add a label inside it. Click in here. We have a label there, and this very label, I'm going to change the font of that label to approximately 72. And let's change the data in there too. Let's go to the caption. The caption will be login system and let's change the color of that text that we've just entered I'm going to come here where we have the color there 
go to palette and just change it drag it so that you guys can see it and maybe increase the size of this there we go so we're going to repeat the same thing for the other one okay so I'm going to copy this first and let's come to where we have alignment I'm going to get that centered there we go all right that's taken care of I'm now going to copy this text let's click and drag and maybe just delete this and replace that with this little one there and in here I'm just going to enter data let's say Excel data entry form there we go now forget that let's come in here grab a label we have one label click drag two labels now we need a text box one text box click drag another one and we need buttons one click and hold and three there we go now I will now change the font the details of that to username password and this one is going to be known as login and we have in here maybe we call that cancel and here we call that exit there we can select all of the component there and just increase the font size to something readable there that's good enough for me okay the enhancement of the interface is completed so let's run it and you guys see how it looks like there yeah, that's how it looks like so the first thing I want to do is to take care of let's take care of the exit first oh yeah let's take care of the exit double click on that and now we enter the lines of code for the exit that's the exit but there's something I should have done we need to change this very name so let's go back in here and the exit I'm going to change that name to CMB exits there so let's double click on that and do the right thing so that is this is my exit I'm going to drag this and paste it right in there that's exit okay I'll declare a variable and the variable is called I exit I exit data type is called VBA message box result if I run the program now this is what you guys will see let's come in here grab the form run it and you see what I'm talking about you see that the reason why I decided to do it like that is should in case there's a mistake made you can always click on if you click on exit the system will prompt you to accept yes or no so if you click on yes that means you officially want to exit so that is taken care of now let's take care of the cancel so come in here that's going to be C and B cancel and the login let's take care of the login as well CMB login so in case of the login system I'm just going to use simple lines of code because that's going to be easy to take care of so let's call uh, this text box password the second one here I'm going to call it username so txt username now copy that double click on that and paste that right in there the text equals play I repeat exactly the same thing for the text for the second text box password the text equals exit so exit is taken care of as well that's brilliant so let's come back in here double click on login so right up here the first thing I'm going to do is to declare the following variable team let's call that attempts maybe with an okay without the s as integer now attempt is declared as integer I'm gonna copy that let's go straight to the form double click on the form I would like the form to initialize the value of attempt so come right in here okay why you the cursor is right in between the is in between the 
use the form let's come in here and change that to initialize initialize let's bring that up so that you guys can see it so initialize equals attempt equals zero okay now go back to the login double click on login right here let's say attempt equals one so every time you click on the button attempt is one so let's come right in here and say if txt username dot text equals I'm just gonna use creative there and txt password dot text equals I'm gonna make that one two three one two three four five there okay all we then need to do is we need to put then there sorry about that then we want the second form this very one okay so let's say use a form one dot hide and use a form two dot show there supposing we get this wrong so if we get it wrong all we just need to say is let's use an else else I'm going to say this time around use a form let's clear everything whatever value we have in there I'm just going to copy that paste it right in here so else instead of the user form opening or hiding that we say txe user name and txe text box txt password dot text equals clear and we will now want to do that we now want to clear whatever value or recent data in here so txt username dot set focus there okay in that case attempt is get itself this variable here equals attempt plus one so let's copy that come right down here and say attempt since there's an error equals attempt plus one now just to let our end user know we're going to enter a message box in there invalid login comma attempt let's say attempt is and attempt so that will show us how many attempts how many attempts that the end user have le has left there so now let's close this yeah that's fine okay now let's say if attempts equals three then what we want the system to now do is to unload unload me and if and and if there okay that's nice but i have an error here you see that attempt equals one that is not valid because i already have attempt equals plus one there so what i'm going to do now is run the program and let's enter invalid details in there you see attempt equals one attempt equals two attempt equals three and we will be logged off the system supposing we get it right Okay, that is the login details. Now run it and enter the correct login in there. There we go. And that opens up form 2. As you can see, we have form 2 there. Now, I'm just going to copy some data and just paste it on form 2 there. Just going to copy it. Now click in here and just paste it right there. There we go. No, it's right. It's supposed to be in here. Okay, there we go. I just move it up there and i will also copy the data that we have in here and paste it here as well okay let's copy the data i'm gonna go
go in here that's the data copy yeah let's copy now we can minimize that and let's grab the data for this very one the empty I can just paste it right there that is it and let's go straight back into our VBA environment so this is where we are I can always close this now because I don't need it anymore yeah we can close that okay let's go back to our login that's our login there yeah, so let's try that out now so enter invalid details in there and there we have accounts down now two and three you logged off the system so now let's try and get it right the login is q80 and here we have one two five there we go right there so here you see the password when i run the system you guys can see my password that's not valid so let's come back in here select the password and come to password chart i'm just going to enter a star in there that's it that will dis disguise whatever password i enter in there so if i come in here enter my value and in there you see that guys there we go right to three and there with the data entry form itself so now let's try out this password but this one thing i need to move this down so go back in there just tra drag this down yeah that's a little bit much better okay then right that's one match that's fine so run it and see how it's gonna look like now invalid details one and valid details there and here invalid no it's not working yeah that's fine so let's run it again enter valid details here and valid details here there we go yeah so click on add record and supposing you want to add any whatever data you want in here I'm just gonna enter some rubbish in here and then we click on our add button add there we go you scroll right down those are the data the rubbish data that I just added you can also delete it there, the rubbish data is gone okay now guys let's exit out and save this tutorial so now I'm gonna go to the file save and let's just give it a name excel login system double click on the directory where i intend to save my work and where we have save type we have to change that to excel macro enable click on save there we go saved now run the program again enter the correct login details and in here there guys there so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe and you can also join and become a member of the channel you'll be highly welcome and you can also purchase some of the merchandise that i have on board so guys bye for now you all have a nice day